All right, welcome to Trading Nation. I'm Brian Sullivan, and we're pleased to be joined by phone now by John Stolfus. He is Chief Investment Strategist with Oppenheimer Asset Management. Uh, John, good to chat with you again. Are you expecting a rate hike from the Federal Reserve tomorrow? And if so, what's going to happen to the stock market? Brian, uh, we are expecting the Fed to raise tomorrow by 25 basis points. We think they've made it very clear, telegraphed uh, the punch, so to speak. Uh, we think the market has already pretty much priced that in. And uh, the weakness that we've seen in the last few days, most of that really related to uh, the market just anticipating, sort of tipping its hat to the Fed, waiting to make sure they do cut that rate, uh, that, they, that they do raise that rate. I'm sorry. Uh, and it, it, with, with all that's going on, with the price of oil where it is, uh, with uh, expectations of stimulus down the road, the, weighing the whole thing, uh, and I think that the market will likely rally on, uh, a, on a rate hike here. Okay, rally on a rate hike, which is weird because for years it was, oh, if our Fed raises rates or tightens, everybody's doomed, we need to keep it loose. Everything was sort of bad news is good news. What's changed, John, so that rate hikes are, are good news again? Well, I, I think that what, what we have here is it, it's the Bernanke legacy Fed, uh, led by Janet Yellen, uh, high transparency. Uh, at, as well as that, the, the rate hike is coming at, at, at a time uh, when the economy is showing uh, increasingly uh, signs of sustainability in terms of the current expansion uh, and with likely stimulus a little further out, uh, plenty of reason to, to put in a hike now. Okay, and then what, so what's the risk? Is the Fed, is there a risk to the Fed? Is, is it sort of bizarrely, is the Fed risk now if they don't raise? I think so. I think if, if, if they don't raise, I, I don't think the market would, would be overly dramatic to the downside, but it might take a little trim, not quite a haircut, but maybe a trim, you know, down maybe one, three percent, something like that. Okay. So what, if, if the Fed is, I don't want to say irrelevant because they are relevant, but it seems like their impact is, is much smaller. What is the most important thing then for, for your clients and their money? I think the, the most important thing is, is to stay uh, exposed to cyclicals instead of uh, defensives. Uh, and I think it is equities uh, expected to outperform bonds with greater risk in bonds near term as the Fed continues in this normalization process. John Stolfus of Oppenheimer. John, always a pleasure. We're watching the hey, Fed. We'll let you go back to read all these Fed papers. Thank you very much, John, for joining us. <laughs> thanks. Uh, folks, reminder, yeah, the Fed decision coming down at 2 o'clock Eastern on CNBC. Be sure to tune in for that. I'm Brian Sullivan. We'll see you next time. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.